Hi, welcome back to Eddie's Kitchen. Today, I'm going to make vegetable version of Korean extra soft tofu stew called Yatje Sundubuchige using my homemade vegetable broth without any seafood or meat, which gives soup a rich savory flavor. You can still make delicious sundubuchige with just vegetable ingredients. It is healthy, easy, and tasty. So, let's get started. Prepare all the vegetable ingredients. Slice the onion into quarter inch thick slices. Cut the zucchini into thin, half moon shaped pieces. Cut the creamy mushrooms into bite sized pieces. Cut and remove the bottom of the enoki mushrooms. Cut the hot peppers into half inch pieces. Cut the green onions into 1 inch pieces. We need a small Korean clay pot, which is called a tukbegi. You can buy this online, so I put a link for it in the description box below this video. Preheat the clay pot and put the sesame oil and the cooking oil in it. Add the minced green onion in the oil and fry it for about 30 seconds on medium high. This green onion oil is one of the secret tips to make the delicious sundubu jjigae. After 30 seconds, add a hot pepper powder, sugar, and soup soy sauce. Mix everything together. Now, quickly add the chopped zucchini and onion. Reduce the temperature to medium and fry for about 2 minutes. I like my sundubu jjigae a little spicy, so you might want to reduce the hot pepper powder a little bit, but for the best flavor, it is best to put it all in the pot. <laughs> After 2 minutes, pour the vegetable broth into the pot. I already posted a good homemade vegetable broth recipe in my previous video, so please check it out. Bring it back to boil. Meanwhile, get one pack of Korean extra soft tofu. If you cannot find this Korean tofu, you can use normal silken tofu too. There is this line that shows where to cut the tofu pack open. Once the broth starts to boil again, add the creamy mushrooms and then put all the extra soft tofu in it. In this step, add the minced garlic. I like to add the garlic now for better broth flavor. Cook for about 5 minutes on medium high. After 5 minutes, taste it and adjust the saltiness with the salt if needed. For my taste, it was just fine the way it was. For the last step, add the enoki mushrooms, the chopped green onion, and the hot peppers into the soup. Cook for 2 more minutes and then turn off the heat. You can serve the soup boiling hot in the clay pot and enjoy with rice and other Korean side dishes. It will make you warm and even hot during this cold winter. If you liked my Yatje Sundubuchige video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.